Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I use my pen tablet for loads of different things such as studying, hobbies and making some money. So before I start this video I'm just going to show you guys what I use. So this is the One by Wacom pen tablet. I use a small version of this pen tablet because it's portable and really easy to carry around. This pen tablet connects to your laptop or your PC using a USB cable. If your laptop doesn't have a USB port, you can use a USB to USB-C adapter. You can find a link to this pen tablet and more info about it down in the description box below. So the main use of my pen tablet is for note taking. If you've seen my previous videos, you'll know that I use Microsoft OneNote for my note taking. This is my go-to note taking app with my pen tablet. But if you prefer, you can use other apps for note taking such as Notability. GoodNotes is also an app you can use or Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. Each note taking app has its pros and cons, but I'm trialing out some different ones and I'll keep you guys posted on what's good in a future video. So for those of you that haven't seen note taking with a graphics tablet take place before, I'll just show you how it works. So as you can see on the screen, as my pen hovers over the pen tablet, the cursor moves with it and when you press down you can write. So this is me writing on my pen tablet in real time. I have a video showing you how I improve my handwriting which I'll link down below. This works perfectly for online learning. All you have to do is split the screen between your lecture or your session and have your note taking app on the other side to take notes during a lesson. So overall, this is a really good method to try out digital note taking. And you can check out my previous videos for more details on how I do it and what features I use to make my notes. So another thing you can use your pen tablet for is doing exam papers on your laptop. So I found this really useful to do when I was doing my A-levels and my GCSEs. What I would do is use a PDF editor app, in my case I'd use Notability, and I would do all of my exam papers on this app using my pen tablet. So it's really useful to use the tools on this app such as the highlighters, coloured pens for marking the papers and you can also add images to your exam papers which really helps for revision purposes. Doing past papers on an app such as Notability is really useful because you can file your exam papers according to subject by just creating dividers and all of this will help you access all of your old notes and revise when it comes to exam season. So another thing you can use your pen tablet for is doing life admin stuff such as filling out forms and it sounds really boring but actually this has been a massively useful tool. All you have to do is import your forms into Notability or a PDF editor, fill out the form and export it back to PDF and send it to whoever needs it. It's just a really easy way to fill out forms in a paperless way. So the next thing I use my pen tablet for quite a lot is online tutoring. I use a website called MyTutor and it's enabled me to do virtual tutoring sessions with students of so many different ages. It's really useful because the pen tablet enables me to create notes for students and annotate those notes or do equations with them on the virtual classroom. So this website is based in the UK, so if you are from another country, it may be worth looking into online tutoring platforms that enable you to tutor students online. Using a pen tablet can help you earn some extra money on the side when studying or if you're just looking for some extra work. So another way to make use of your pen tablet is to make academic videos on YouTube. So this option is really good for people who don't have access to online tutoring and would like to earn a little bit of money online teaching people things. This can work for anyone, you can be a GCSE student, an A-level student or a specialist in a particular area. As long as you know something and can teach it, you can do this. 
So for this you will need a screen recording app. I use QuickTime Player. With QuickTime Player you can record your screen and show people what you're doing on your laptop or PC. Then all you need is a note taking app or a canvas of choice so you can use literally any app with a blank screen. In this case I'm using Notability. And all you have to do is show people what you're doing to teach what you want to teach. Unfortunately on the QuickTime app you can't actually record audio when you record the screen recording. So you have to go on the QuickTime app and create a separate audio recording which can go on whilst you're doing the screen recording. So what you'll end up with is two separate files. You'll end up with an audio file where you're speaking and you'll end up with a screen recording file which has no audio attached to it. What you'll then need to do is put everything together on a video editing app such as iMovie in order to get a voice recording along with your screen recording. So once you've made your videos you can upload it to YouTube and if you gain a bit of an audience and a lot of views you'll be able to monetize your channel and eventually earn money from this. This isn't easy to start, but it's definitely a good way to earn money if you're interested. So another thing you can use your pen tablet for is creative use or for hobbies. So I use Autodesk Sketchbook, this is a free app. You can download loads of different brushes to create different types of art. So overall I'd highly recommend this app for people who are looking to try out digital art but don't necessarily have the budget to buy an iPad because this app has so many different features for you to try out. You can also edit your pictures using your pen tablet which is really useful if you have a following on Instagram or you have a YouTube channel. Um, this can help increase engagement on your channel or your Instagram pages. By using this pen tablet to improve your pictures and your thumbnails, you can earn some money if you have a decent following on any of those platforms. So I would definitely recommend investing in a pen tablet if you'd like to improve your pictures or your thumbnails. So last but not least, I use this pen tablet for video editing. So you may have noticed in my previous videos, or even in this video, I tend to handwrite all of my captions. So to do this, I use a sketchbook app. I'll firstly adjust the canvas size. So I'll do it to a width of 1280 pixels to 720 pixels. And what I do is I create three different layers. So the bottom layer tends to be a snapshot of the frame in the video that I'm using. The middle layer tends to be a grid that's transparent in the PNG format. And then the third layer will be the writing that I want to do. And I also use the predictive stroke feature, which is highlighted in blue on the toolbar at the top. So then once you've written out whatever you want to write out, you just have to hide the grid layer and the bottom layer. And then you're just left with a transparent background and the writing that you wrote earlier. I then save the image in a PNG format. And then I insert the image into iMovie over the clip that I want to put it over. Once I've inserted the image, I go on the crop button and I press crop to fill just so that the image sits nicely over the clip. So that's how I add my own handwriting to my videos and I always use iMovie for my editing. And that's it! So that's how I use my pen tablet for loads of different things and this is how I make the most out of using my pen tablet. When I initially got this pen tablet, I did get it with the intention of practicing a little bit of art, but it has become a really, really useful tool for loads of different aspects of my life. I really recommend trying it out if you don't have the budget to buy an iPad and would really like to try any of these things mentioned in this video. I hope this video has helped somebody. If you found this video useful, please leave a comment down below. I really appreciate all of the lovely comments. And thank you so, so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Please let me know if you have any suggestions for video ideas or if you would like to see anything in particular. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.